Making a massive contribution to New Zealand's economy at around $1 billion a year, the agribusiness industry just keeps on growing. A brilliant platform to illustrate how the country's agribusiness is leading the world in innovation and rapid growth. From iconic Kiwi talent to practical insights into the ways that the agricultural industry operates, the showcase was pure Kiwi. Showing off our Kiwi number eight wire mentality, from gadgets to gizmos, visitors were able to interact with the newest inventions. A main focal point to the day were the discussion panels with the top leaders of New Zealand's agricultural sector. Coming together to discuss insights into the development of our agricultural industry and to highlight New Zealand's groundbreaking innovations in technology, science and farming systems. Founder of Ancare New Zealand Limited and member of the panel, Colin Harvey, says the opportunities of taking New Zealand agribusiness to international markets are huge. Grasslands economy is built on agricultural technology and in that particular area we've led the world really in, in grassland technology, so our innovations in terms of plant breeding and then in managing those plants with fertilisers and, and, and electric fences, you know, that's sort of groundbreaking stuff. There's a heap of farmers here visiting with the Rugby World Cup, <laughs> as you'd expect, and of course they have this in broad interest in agriculture, so it's a good opportunity to showcase the industry. Professor Jacqueline Roworth, Director for Massey's Agricultural Programme, believes that it's vital to involve New Zealanders and international visitors into the agricultural sector to learn more about what keeps New Zealand's economy rolling. All the research shows that city people know the importance of urban people doing their good work, but I suspect that they don't often realise how many opportunities there are in agriculture and all its agribusiness support for their children to have great careers. We have not enough people coming into agriculture and science in New Zealand and yet that's what drives our economy and that's why my graduating students and those from Lincoln are getting such good money and great lifestyles at the same time. The Rugby World Cup and New Zealand's farming industry may seem worlds apart. However, the distance may not be as far as some may think. And naturally there's a very good link to the All Blacks when we think of people like Colin Meads, Brian Lahore, but we could also point out that Richie McCaw studied agriculture at Lincoln University and he's a great advocate for the rural economy as well as the importance of the All Blacks. Emma Jones, Country 99 TV News.